Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an update for you, okay? This is going to be an update for the collective. Alright. Let's see what the most important messages are. Good morning to all of you, by the way. Okay. So I get I feel like there's a um Leo here, so you could be very happy. Some of you could be online shopping. You're shopping for something here. All right. Or you could be create, or maybe the skies look very different. The sun is positioned a certain way behind the clouds. Like maybe the sun is setting. Something is very beautiful here with the clouds and the sun. I'm getting like the clouds are lit up by the sun in a different way. Something is very beautiful here. I'm getting the weather is very good. The sun is shining. The weather is perfect. It's just a really good, beautiful day here or in the ensuing days. Okay, you definitely could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio, but I'm getting there's a Scorpio that's possibly confused about a Leo or about the sun or about maybe you're looking things up about the sun, how to get more sun, what, what, how the sun is good for you. Okay. Or you, you could be checking the weather in, in a certain uh, state, like maybe California or maybe Hawaii or something like that. Okay, yeah. So you could be deficient in something here or feeling drained or tired or lack of energy. The sun will help with that. Sun babe, sit in the sun, go into nature, do things like that, okay? So that, that's for some of you, all right? That's not for everybody, yeah. So I'm getting a bit of confusion, a bit of back and forth energy here on how somebody feels about you. I feel like, yeah, the, yeah it, this could be a Sagittarius or a Leo, but I feel like a lot of um, patience is required here. Okay, something is very something is very inconsistent or somebody's unsure, they're confused, it's back and forth, it's on and off or some shit, okay? Okay, the nine of pentacles is here. So yeah, again, two, two, so master number. So somebody could be a master or a master builder, or you could have a life path number of the number two. But what I'm kind of getting here What I'm kind of getting here is um, an energy where, you know, you're back and forth. Somebody's unsure. This is you that's unsure. It's like somebody, somebody is like, wow, how do you make me this happy? How are you this perfect? How are you this beautiful? I feel like somebody goes around and around in their head. They're, they, they go back and forth. They're like not sure or I don't know what this is, okay? It's almost like I'm getting a feeling of like more. It's, it's somebody here is like thinking like, um, because I feel like somebody could have options because the seven of cups can be options as well. But I feel like they're just not you. You know, someone's trying to, to, to make it to where you're not, you know, maybe they don't feel as strongly about the situation or whatever, but they do. You make them very happy and someone's confused as to why. Yeah, we have the two of swords, the ace of wands and the empress. So there is something new. Someone could be pregnant, but there is somebody new here. Someone's undecided about this new beginning, about beginning things with you. They're unsure whether they want to be single or possibly come towards you. Yeah, the king of wands. Someone's very attracted to you, though. It's like they're stuck on you. But there's, there's this lack mentality or this energy where I feel like somebody's not able to... Yeah, 444. Four, four. Okay, yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. I saw the Ace of Pentacles as well. 
And yeah, the nine of wands and the three of swords. So a lot of insecurity here. There is love. There is a sense of wanting to um, move things forward. So 444 is a member of stability as well and protection and, and power. So I just feel like somebody could be on the fence. Maybe you're on the fence. You're unsure about what to do here. You're unsure about what makes you happy. You're confused. I'm not sure what makes me happy. Is it being single? Is it having a lot of people? Is it fucking with a lot of motherfuckers? Or is it just being with this person? The letter M could be significant. Somebody's name starts with the letter M. But I'm getting like this person's in love with you. They feel like you have the perfect body. Okay, they love the way you dress. They love... Um, they love... They love... Um, just your body okay it's kind of what i'm getting here okay yeah i'm gonna pull from the other deck as well but i just feel like with this nine of wands there's a bit of insecurity here yeah the ace of pentacles you're definitely getting another offer so there is someone that's offended or hurt why nine of wands and the three of swords there's a bit of somebody yeah the knight of cups so i do feel like somebody's proposing to you or they're off or they could be on the fence or they could be unsure maybe they're offended by something you said or um it's almost like this person's on the fence about making this offer. Dude, does this really make me happy? Is this, I don't know, I'm getting like a victim mentality or not taking accountability for, for one's actions or how they move. Yeah, the Knight of Cups and um, so that, yeah, this could be this Queen of Cups. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the World and the Chariot. I'm getting like something's over with the Water Sign. Yeah, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So something is over here. Whatever this lie is, I do feel like somebody may have went um, blocked somebody or um, something in the past where somebody, I don't know, somebody blocked somebody or did something or lied. Somebody regrets that or they were playing games or whatever this is. You have the Chariot, the Fool, the Knight of Cups. This person, this person may want a new beginning here. So someone is definitely, it could be a water sign that's that, that's offended here. What's the nine of wands, three of swords? Nine of wands and the three of swords. So there's the, I don't know. Somebody's going towards, you have the 10 of wands. So this is a stressful situation. So this queen of cups could be stressed because of this breakup, this ending. Somebody can, may not trust another person here as well. So somebody could be asking you questions. Why are you pulling away? Why are you blocking me? Why are you rejecting me? Is there somebody else? I feel like somebody knows this, that, yeah, confirmation. I feel like somebody knows that somebody is involved with someone else here, that someone else makes them happy, which could be a bit of uh, very stressful for somebody. It could be a Sagittarius and a water sign involved, but I'm getting like there's lies or there's a breakup. Somebody may be pretending or not being completely open about how they feel about a situation. Yeah, this emperor, this father or this Aries. So somebody could be asking, who is this Aries or this nine of pentacles emperor energy? Who is this? Or this could be a father, a husband, a boss, but I feel like somebody definitely could be involved and they're not keeping it real about how they feel. Yeah, the eight of cups. I feel like someone's tired. They want to walk away. They pull their energy away. They're completely emotionally drained here. And very much feeling like they cannot get anything else from this situation. This is how somebody is feeling. Okay, I feel like on, a, on an everyday basis, this is almost like a new day. It's almost like I, it's like an obligation instead of something that somebody truly, truly has um, faith in. Okay. So somebody here, yeah, somebody definitely could be inquiring or asking questions here. Yeah, this is a very much on and off relationship with this ex. I feel like somebody does not trust someone. Someone is very confusing or um, maybe somebody's smoking a lot or this could even be drinking a lot. You could, like, like I said, okay, yeah. I'm going to change this out because I feel like I need to have a candle lit here. So give me one second to grab one. Okay. 
Okay. So, I am very much getting an energy where, um, Somebody is walking away. It's a burden. I'm not sure if somebody's being cute. Yeah, somebody could be very cold. I feel like somebody is taking control. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. So somebody sees you as there's definitely, there's three, there's two aces here. We saw the ace of wands too. So there is something new here. Something's being left behind. Someone's pulled their energy away. So this queen of cups could be trying to offer their energy here or their cup, but I just feel like somebody's tired of it. It's the same fucking cup. It's the same offer. It's the same bullshit. Something is just, it's just not giving somebody what it is that they want and what they feel like they deserve. Yeah, the five of pentacles. Somebody's not happy. Yeah, the six of swords. They're moving on. This could be a work situation. Somebody you work with. But there's just, I just feel like somebody feels weighed down, burdened, it, depleted. Someone's not happy. They are um, feeling very much out in the cold, neglected. There's very much a neglected energy here. I feel like with the emperor here, yeah, someone is stone cold. So when this emperor energy has turned the cold, they don't care. It's almost like a roof, this energy. I don't care. I don't want to do this. And it's leaving this queen of cups asking questions. But I know, yeah, the ace of swords, yeah, the five of wands. Yeah, there's, yes. Somebody is like demanding the fucking truth. Do you, do you want me? What's going on? Are you moving on? Why are you pulling away? Why are you acting this way? Why are you doing me like this? What are you doing? And I feel like this masculine energy can lack integrity because they're not being honest about how they feel here. Okay. But with that Ace of Swords showing up, that could be an indication where somebody is in fact saying, you know, this is how I feel. Yeah. Because I feel like something is very hostile and very volatile here. There seems to be very much of a shakeup. That's the tower energy we've been getting lately yeah the hangman that's that that's like a lack of integrity that's delaying things it's not being honest and truthful somebody's asking you how you feel about me why are you acting this way are you still into me and you're t and you're saying you're, you're not saying anything or you're beating around the bush or you're just being cold that's that's being narcissistic Okay, you have to be you have to be honest and truthful I don't feel the same way about you I don't care I feel like or, or that I'm cheating on you. Or I want this other person because I feel like with the nine of pentacles and the temperance, this emperor energy is like this person makes them very happy. There's a lot of dreaming and fantasizing about what it would be like to be with this person. This nine of pentacles in energy, a, a self-made, a boss, a business owner, somebody self-made, somebody that is very independent. This is a self-made millionaire, the nine of pentacles. It's usually a, a female, but it could be a male as well. Okay, but I feel like somebody is maybe freeing themselves. This could be a divorce that's final or it's, or it's about to be. Someone's going to be single to be able to offer you an opportunity or offer you this love or something. Or someone's fighting to make themselves that way so they, they can move on. But I'm getting this person's back is turned in these cards. So it's every indication that somebody is moving forward. They just don't want to do this no more. Every single card. It's like the Knight of Swords is going this way, but this energy is like it's only going back to argue and fight. Something is very volatile and hostile. Yeah, we have the Justice. I feel like this is a divorce, a very nasty one. Or if it's not a divorce, it, then it's a breakup. But it's definitely an ending. I feel like somebody wants the truth or the Ace of Swords. The truth is being expressed. Someone's demanding it. They want to know what is the fucking truth. But, and, and, and see, the reason why there's a lot of volatile energy here, arguments, fights, blow-ups, and everything else, somebody is like a fucking gnat. God. Volatile. The reason why something is very volatile and, and crazy and all that other shit is because somebody is not being honest and truthful here. That's all that is called for. Is to be honest. I do not feel the same. I'm unhappy. I do not want this anymore. Whatever the fuck. Some, some, somebody is drained. They're weighed down. They're burdened. Somebody could be struggling financially. Someone may even be homeless. But I'm definitely getting an energy of, of struggling financially here, like big time. This is um, for sure. Yeah, work. Somebody could be having a hard time trying to find work, get work, or keep work. It's this heavy energy here. I just feel like somebody's done. They don't want to do this anymore. There's nothing but arguments and fights and, and shit like that. That's all it is. Okay, a lot of yelling and screaming. Just 
this could even get physical. It's, it's definitely verbal abuse here, but it's physical as well. I'm getting, let me see. Let's see, what's this queen of, um, I just feel like somebody does not trust another person. They see somebody as a burden, that, that somebody that's weighing them down. I'm also getting someone's gaining weight here. Or something about, something about um, scar tissue, stretch marks. Somebody may even say that. Somebody may get very hurtful, like, oh, you got stretch marks or your stomach is big or saggy or you don't look the same or I'm not attracted to you or you turn me off. I, I feel like somebody makes somebody very insecure here and someone is very offended by what someone is saying here. Yeah, they're angry or they're upset or they're mad or whatever because you're moving on or because you're happy or someone's wondering if you're happy you are, period. Yeah, somebody's trying to cause instabilities or unstableness, but you're, you're, you're going to be fine. You're going for the two to the nine of pentacles. So whatever this was, the five to the two to the nine, whatever this was, something's going to be restored. There's an opportunity here, a very lucrative one for you with the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. Yeah. And now we have the king. You are definitely making a huge business um, um, move. So if you're an entrepreneur, CEO, if you're starting this business or clothing line or brand or whatever you're doing or this new thing that you're doing, it's going to be very lucrative. I see a huge influx in your pay. As soon as you walk away from whatever this is, because I see somebody relocating, literally moving away from someone. They have completely went emperor mode on a motherfucker. Or maybe you are just straight emperor mode. You're, you're working hard. You want to get your finances up. And, and yeah, the four of pentacles, the energy of saving money, the death card, you're changing something. Someone's undergoing a transformation. It could be a Scorpio. Somebody may be saving their money to make, to give, to, to give this offer to this, 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 um, nine of pentacles temperance energy is giving me like empress energy. Somebody wants to provide for you, but I'm, I'm definitely getting, I'm definitely getting a situation over here that, that is, is, it, it, it's just. I don't know. Yeah, the two of swords. A lot of pretending. Yeah, the ace of swords. So if somebody was in, yeah, the fool. I just feel like if somebody was undecided here, or if they were closed off, they wasn't sure what they wanted to do, what decision they wanted to make, whether they wanted to stand up and fight for this, because there could have been another competitor here. Somebody could have found out that there's somebody else involved here, that they're having to go up against someone or compete or whatever this is. I feel like somebody is if somebody was in the dark or not being clear about that or, or not, you know, giving you the truth about that situation or this is you, I feel like somebody is deciding to um to do that now. The two of swords is a stalemate, it's indecision, it's not making one in fear of making the wrong decision. But the ace of swords is clarity. It's like, okay, this is what I want, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. So the two of swords is usually leads to the three of swords which is here a tough decision that somebody's making for themselves to move on someone has gained the clarity or if you've been want, wanting to know how somebody feels about another person or if they're in love with someone else i feel like this person is going to make this clear yeah the full card someone's freeing themselves a new beginning a clean slate Somebody could definitely be expressing this to you with the Ace of Swords. They're telling you the truth. Something's going to happen in a blow up, a fight. A truth is coming out. 18, 18. So 888, abundance. A lot of money coming in for a lot of you as well. Yeah, the Five of Cups and the Moon card with the Queen of Cups. I feel like a heavy cancer. Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Someone's ending something with the water sign. It's over. I'm sorry, but it's over. It's a loss. It's dead. It's done. Somebody sees this, this as a loss. Someone is very much missing these cups that are still standing. This person over here. I feel like, what's the queen of cups in the moon? I just feel like, yeah, we have the six of swords here twice. Guys, this is divine intervention as well. Our guides, our spirit guides, someone's being guided away from a situation, a particular person. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. What's this Queen of Cups moon and the Ten of Swords? Because the Queen of Cups is here too, twice. So it's definitely a Cancer. Yeah, the Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. There it is again. It's right here. So 1919, wow, it's a lot of cards. So we saw 444, 1919, and 1818. All right. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, if this is a home situation, someone's moving out of this house, they're moving on, they're letting this go, or they just, it's, it's just too much, it's too much arguing. I'm, I'm getting something has even gotten physical. Somebody beat somebody's ass, or this could even be like at a hotel. 
Somebody could be living in a hotel or a home or whatever, but somebody is definitely something is physical or someone's like breaking shit. They're angry. They're mad. They're upset. I feel like it's because somebody has went completely emperor mode. They're done. They no longer want the situation. So this Queen of Cups could be very heartbroken or, or emotional because they're being left behind here. There's been some kind of lie or betrayal. Ten of Swords, Three of Swords is a huge lie. There's been some kind of lie. Someone has been lying to them. Maybe maybe someone's finding out that somebody has been with multiple people here. Or that they just, I, I don't know. But I feel like somebody, the Six of Swords is here twice. The Eight of Cups is here. We have the, I, I'm, I'm just feeling world and death energy. Even though, yeah, confirmation, that horn beeping. Even though I don't see it, yeah, the death. Even though I don't see it yet, I'm feeling like, I was about to say it's over. Somebody's undergoing a huge transformation. Yeah, the four of cups and the two of pentacles in the reverse. So confirmation. So the two of pentacles was um, here. It's not in the upright. It's in reverse. So I feel like no more juggling. So in the past, somebody could have been confused. They were unsure. They were juggling. They were lying. They had you in the third party. They, 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 they made you feel like you had to compete for your love. But I'm getting somebody realizes now that it's you that they want. They want to give you the attention. They want to be with you. They want to marry. Yeah, there's there's definitely a tower here. Look at this. Something is very volatile. Something there, There's going to be a very, very bad argument here. Blow up fights breakdown in the situation somebody no longer wants to be involved in this i just feel like it's over somebody doesn't the, the juggling the back and forth that the the, the the indecision because we went from the two of swords to the ace those came out together so somebody has gained clarity here about what they want to do if they were on the fence they're not anymore if they were juggling they're not somebody is freeing themselves full card from the situation six of swords is here and the six of swords is here someone's going to be left out in the cold somebody could be worried a little bit about their their finances or their financial state when this person decides to leave but i'm getting someone is yeah the five of wands three of swords a lot of argument fighting hitting something swords or knives could be involved here because i'm seeing that as well this cancer or whatever or somebody just moving on something has changed somebody keeps somebody keeps trying to offend you or hurt you or discriminate towards you or try to make you feel in the cold or left out you're like man you're 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 fucking a loser somebody has moved on so whatever you're doing or you think you're doing you look stupid I feel like somebody's raging war on themselves. They're fighting with themselves. Somebody's done. They're not about to, to keep fighting with you. I feel like somebody is on a constant attack on you, constantly trying to do something to you or, or, or whatever, but you're moving on. Yeah, the Tower, the Knight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Somebody's really, somebody's really was hoping that you go back and forth with them, but, but you're not. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles again. A lot of energy of lack and loss. Somebody is going to be homeless or losing or lack or this is just chronic homelessness or unstableness or whatever the fuck this is. Somebody's tired of it. And you can get tired of shit like that. Yeah. The eight of cups going into the nine of cups. Somebody wants to be happy here. They, they're going towards, yep, the nine of cups of the sun again. Somebody that, that gives them life, that makes them happy, that breathes life into them. They want to go into that. Somebody's no longer putting energy, time, and effort into a situation. This could be a home situation or whatever. Somebody could be slip, skipping out on the lease. Yeah, the nine of wands. I'm just getting a lot of offense, irritation, and agitated shit. Or somebody is trying to trigger you, man. They constantly are doing this. Maybe they, they're doing this and trying to fuck with your money. Someone's trying to make you homeless. Do whatever this is. Someone is trying to trigger you. It's constant. Yeah, the seven of cups. And then they're confused. What are they confused about? What's the seven of cups here twice? What are they? Yeah, the eight of swords. Someone in the reverse. So someone's confused because you're not going in circles or you're not stuck. Or yeah, somebody wants to keep you in a state of confusion or going in circles and you're just not. Someone's like, how are you able to free yourself? Or how are you able to do this or free yourself or break free from this or do this or whatever yeah you're, you're not stuck you're not trapped you're not going in circles you're not going back and forth yeah you're all you're doing is getting your fucking justice and you will or somebody tried to create a situation or trap you or have you stuck where you get locked up or in some kind of legal bond somebody is confused as to why it's not working i feel like someone's angry the eight of wands seven of swords you're progressing. Yeah, I'm getting you're going to get justice here. And whatever this is, yeah, this could be a home situation. Definitely. 
regarding your home or whatever this is. You're going to get justice. You have the seven of swords in the reverse. A lot of lies and um, bullshit. Yeah, I feel like somebody does not want to lie. They're being honest now. They're stepping up because somebody lacked integrity. They were still sleeping with possibly. I don't, I don't really see a lot of attraction here at all. I see nothing but arguments and fights and bullshit. But somebody wasn't being completely honest about how they felt about a situation. And now somebody's going to be with the Ace of Swords here twice and the Seven of Swords coming out in the reverse. It's almost like I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of the bullshit or somebody got caught. So when seven of swords always gets caught, someone's catching themselves up here. Something's crumbling real bad with this with this tower here like this. Something is coming down. What's the um justice? Yeah, judgment is in the temperance. Yeah, I'm getting divine intervention. Something, it's some kind of awakening. Someone's being awoke. It could be a Sagittarius or a Leo. Yeah, the ten of cups and the lovers. And um to this love. Yeah, the ace of wands, page of wands. To this love, to this lovers connection. Yeah, the, the lovers. A Gemini and the Hierophant, I feel like somebody wants, yeah, somebody wants commitment with you. They want long term. Yeah, the temperance, the Hierophant, and the judgment. This is a very beautiful connection, a very spiritual one. Okay. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Someone's going towards new love. The Ace is here, the star. I'm just getting like, I'm also getting something about showers. You're taking a lot of showers or crystal baths or, or spiritual baths. You're healing. Somebody may love to take a um, to watch you take a bath or a shower or whatever. Yeah, the six of wands, a lot of success and recognition. So this could be somebody inspirational in the public eye, an influencer, someone with a high following that gets a lot of attention. I feel like somebody wants to stand with you or be with you. They want to stand by you. They want to show you that they can support you, provide for you. You may even you you may blog you may uh, blog here, vlog or whatever. Okay. But I'm getting like a cooperation or some kind of um, group effort project or something new that you're doing. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups there. So yeah, there, this is good news, good feedback. You could get a lot of a good, a good, a lot of attention. So if this is something you're posting, I'm getting a lot of. So, so somebody could be a bit worried about that too. The attention you get because somebody wants you to see them as the one that they can be. You know what you need and all this stuff and. But I feel like somebody, they yeah, the eight of pentacles. So a lot of work here, a lot of success and recognition. Growing here, likes, comments, subscribes. I'm getting you're really growing here. I'm getting like, yeah, I'm getting something about a photo here. A lot of likes and good feedback here on it. You're very attractive. A lot of people find you to be very attractive here. Yeah, someone's definitely watching you. They're looking at you, looking at your post. This could be somebody that patronizes you as well. Okay, but someone's watching you. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. I'm definitely getting somebody that sees you. Yeah, this could be, yeah, I'm getting a lot of people here, okay? But this could definitely be somebody that sees you as wholesome or, yeah, the Emperor. There it is again. So this is somebody that wants to boss up, okay? Yeah, we have the High Priestess. Very in tune. Yeah, BJ and the letter M could be significant here. Yeah, the four of swords. So a lot of you could be resting here. A lot of rest here or something or something. Let me let, let me see. Okay. The five of swords. So there is somebody that's jealous. You have the ten of pentacles. This could be several people. Possibly in your family or what's this five of swords? Yeah, the higher fonts or this court. What's the five of swords? Yeah, the lovers. So somebody is definitely um, upset or mad or angry because you're in love or someone's in love with you. The lovers is here twice. Yeah, Gemini. Yeah, the king of cups. Someone's deeply in love with you. They want a relationship. The higher font and the page of cups and the two of swords. I feel like somebody is like something about an apology. Somebody just not going to do it. Okay. Somebody know that yeah, they don't deserve you. They, they don't owe you shit. Okay. We have the moon, the death and the tower. A cancer or a Scorpio is significant here, but I feel like it's there, there's something going on behind the scenes. Something is crumbling or crashing or falling. What's this five of swords? 
I feel like someone's really jealous because you're successful, you're growing, you're getting a lot of attention. Yes, yeah, over the world card, the hate, the, the the covert hate and discrimination, racism or whatever, it's all over. You have a higher font and the eight of swords, a, cor a corporation entity or somebody you're married to. You're getting justice for this. I feel like somebody um, has been trying to keep you stuck or going in circles or, or someone could be getting locked up. You have the devil, the three of pentacles and the will of fortune. Something is very corrupt or this occult or this corporation entity institution is over. Or someone trying to get you to um, do something. Yeah, the four of cups is over. It's not going to work or it's done and it's dead. You're moving on. You're doing something new. Somebody's worried about it. Yeah, the six of pentacles. I see you being patronized here. If somebody was watching you, I'm getting that's going to stop all of a sudden or that's going to end abruptly here. You have the two of swords and the ten of swords. Whatever this is that somebody's trying to do, whatever this is, falsifying, lying, trying to trap you, get you locked up, do um, do some kind of protective order on you or whatever this is. It's just not going to happen like that. Yeah, the hangman, the five of cups and the seven of pentacles. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Also, have a lot of evidence. So I'm getting a huge lawsuit. You're going to get the outcome you want in this lawsuit. That's been coming out a lot. Seven of Pentacles in judgment. I'm getting a lot. The Seven of Pentacles is like months, maybe years, but months of 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 evidence or something. You're going to, this this verdict is going to go in your favor. You have Page of Wands. Expect good news. Two of Wands in the ten in the Sun. I mean, in the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Wands and the Empress. You're going to get what you want here. What is this nine of cups lovers? I see you being pleased here. Yeah, I see somebody. Somebody could be liking to watch porn here. I see somebody pleasuring themselves. Okay, whatever. We have the page of wands and the two of wands. So someone's going to reach out to you, message you here possibly. Okay, this or this is what someone's planning to do. Yeah, someone's definitely watching you. Page of swords. Yeah, the knight of swords and the, the nine of swords. It didn't come out, but it's here. Yeah, the magician and the two of cups. Someone could be nervous about this offer, romancing you, this new beginning, this clean slate. They want to take it to, um, yeah, the tower is here twice in the moon. I feel like a cancer is undergoing a major tower change or something behind the scenes. Or, or this is, or someone's worried about, yeah, I was, I was about to say worried. The nine of swords, someone's worried about the future of this because the three of wands keeps showing up. What's going to happen in the future? Because I feel like something is crumbling here. Or, so, or, or whatever somebody did with this, this um, what's the nine of swords and, the, and the, the fucking magician? Yeah, the devil. Yeah, the tables are turning on somebody or some or, or something, something somebody put out is coming, is coming back on. Yeah, someone's going to be disappointed here. Five of cups. And we have the empress and the emperor for both of these decks. So there's a twin flame connection. I'm going to grab one more. Um. Coming up, y'all. Okay, I was called to pull a couple from this deck. So remember those numbers. Go look it up. 18, 18, 444. Okay, and the 19, 19, I think, was the, um, the three numbers that we saw here. Give us some clear, um, clarification. So somebody, if there was, if somebody wasn't being truthful or honest about how they felt about another person, I'm definitely getting that this person is going to be honest now. Give us some messages to clarify this energy, please, spirit, guides, angels, and the universe of the white light only. Okay, we have the emperor and the empress here. So sitting beautiful. Yeah, nine of swords. It's like somebody, yeah, the ten of cups. It's like somebody's nervous to come towards you. Yeah, the ten of cups, the ace of wands. I'm getting a new creative endeavor. Okay, this could be about music or something like that. Okay, I'm getting a, a project you're finishing up here or that you have finished up here, something you're putting out. So I'm getting a lot of success and recognition here. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling like eight of wands energy. Yeah, the two of cups. I feel like somebody wants to give you attention. They want to be seen with you. They love you. They support you. I feel like you're embracing someone or hugging someone. Yeah, the star card. Okay, definitely. Let me see here. You're definitely embracing someone or, yeah. I see a reconciliation. What's the two of cups to star? 
We have the seven of wands. Yeah, someone's defending this. Someone's standing up for this connection. Someone's like, yeah, the seven of wands. Very protective. Um, what's the seven of wands? Yeah, the judgment. I'm getting Archangel Michael and Gabriel. The, the, this connection is holy. It's very spiritual with the star and the two of cups, the higher fight and the high priestess. Yeah, the eight of wands. I knew it was going to show up. Something is progressing quickly or someone's reaching out to you. Very sweet message. Yeah, the three of cups. This could be somebody asking you out for a drink. Maybe, maybe, yeah, definitely wanted to ask you out for a drink here. Yeah, the two of cups. There's a deep connection here. Somebody wants long term with you. The high priestess, the ten of pentacles. This is how this person... They, they see you. They see you as, you know. Yeah, somebody doesn't want this, this cycle to be over. What's the world card with you? Yes, yeah, a cancer. It's somebody that just will not, that just does not want a situation to end. It's over. The world card, the seven of pentacles, four of wands. Someone's putting their focus elsewhere. You have the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. There it is again. Something is very lucrative here. It's almost like you're growing. You're getting what you want. Somebody was fucking with your money, fucking with you, doing grinding shit, wanting to see you down and discriminating against you, and you're moving forward. Let's see. Justice is here. You're going to get that for everything somebody has been doing. I think the justice came out twice. The chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues, okay? We have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of the future. So... There's abandonment issues here. We have love call. Yeah, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay? We have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. So, again, that's that three of swords, ten of swords. Something is over and complete with this world card, death card. There's been a major shift in somebody's life. And I feel like now somebody's chasing someone because they have this this. The, these fear of abandonment issues here. We have the sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. This connection is very protected here. There's some kind of seal around it. Okay, but I feel like with the three of swords, ace of swords coming out three times in every single deck, I just feel like um, something is a wrap. Somebody has definitely gained the clarity. We have not today in reverse. Not today dealing hurt, avoiding conversation, call person boundaries, and still angry. So this could be somebody that you're opening up to. You you could have um um released whatever this is to heal this engagement. Yeah, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So I'm getting like, yeah. Dragon, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Yeah, a lot of shit is coming to light. Heartbroken, de deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. We have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, I just feel like somebody has ascended and that leaves somebody else, you know, heartbroken because somebody came into someone's life for a reason. They were supposed to grow with this person, be with this person, work with them, love them, marry them or something like that. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception. Someone's really watching you here. Page of Swords here twice. They always have their eye on you, okay? Watching you and seeing what you have going on. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. Yeah, someone may say, can we have coffee? Can we have a drink? Yeah, twin flame and coffee. It says um, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship, and yin, yin yang, zen balance. Union, duality, couple, and compliment each other. So somebody may be wanting a drink. They're going to reach out, ask for an invitation. Here's the invitation right here. Um, to meet up, to have coffee, to talk. Can we talk? Yeah, there's going to be a balance with the yin and yang. Someone's ascending here. And that's just what it is. Okay, yeah, coffee. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Uh, if somebody is transitioning here, they're ascending. Yeah, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship and addiction. Somebody is healing themselves from these addictions. Kisses, unconditional love, giving, receiving affection, and falling in love. And I feel like it's because someone has falling in love with another person. Hands of cards. Someone's going to take a risk. They're going to uh, reach out to you. They're going to do something here. Yeah, but there is some kind of snake or evil person or vindictive person here. Yeah, five of cups, nine of swords. Somebody has done a lot of wicked. Someone found out about the black magic somebody was doing on them. They do not trust them whatsoever. Somebody is like 
going crazy over this because they know somebody knows about it. Yeah, we have heart with the key. Welcome and love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together in perfect mirror, mirroring each other's self-image relationship, reflect our wounds. And then we have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing, healing the inner child and growth. Someone's really healing, healing their inner child. Okay. Yeah. Self-indulge is focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work and self-appreciation. You better go, man. And then paradise, happiness. Someone's going after their, the grim reaper. It's a Scorpio. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. There is a Scorpio that has, is growing, man. He's been coming out heavy or she. It's over. Somebody's dead. Someone could be doing black magic to keep somebody in a situation they know it's over so they're going to do everything they can to keep you trapped and stuck in this okay they're going to do love spells and black magic and sex magic and all this other shit if you are sure that you're done with somebody they're not for you you can't do this you know it's over it's complete you're being called to close it out world card death and all these cards of ending and you and all of a sudden you feel like oh maybe i should work it out or stay this person is doing um spell work um mirror magic sex magic or whatever this is what what somebody hasn't been doing to keep you around to keep you stuck here they're also going to try to intervene with your twin flame connection so you need to be protecting it if you love this empress if you love this emperor you need to be protecting it because motherfuckers is coming for it we got that in the live what last night or the night before there is someone or something trying to intervene with this connection so watch out this person knows you're done. Yeah, the Phoenix, another Scorpio card. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, and growth, change mind. Someone has changed. They want to get married. They want to be with you. They want to be a camera. This could be a photographer or somebody that takes pictures of you or somebody that's into music or whatever this is. Yeah, palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, and endurance. This person wants to build with you. Abundance, and they want to give you what you deserve. Yeah, healthy choices. Help, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Somebody is making decisions for their happiness, man. Period. That's why the seven of cups in the sun is here. Like somebody's like, you know, somebody could be very, very confused at how happy you make them, how much they're in love with you, how much you mean to them. They never expected this, but you were brought into this person's life for a reason. We have photograph looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgic and make memories. So somebody likes to look at your photos as well. But somebody is doing the shadow work. They're working on themselves. Whoever this is, I'm so fucking proud of you. So proud of you. Good for you. Keep going. Get away from this evil person, this manipulative person. They do not have the best interest for you. They're going to cry. They're going to do whatever they can to get you to stay and stay in this cycle. Love yourself first. You are always going to be stuck, trapped, weighed down, and burdened, and in the five of pentacles when you're with this person. Because you're meant to have the ten of pentacles and, and the star and the sun and all this great energy with this other person. It's not supposed to be here. This cycle is complete with the world card. So love yourself and move forward and let it go. I do see somebody reaching out to you with an apology, a long love letter or text or email or whatever this is. Apologizing. I feel like there's going to be healing here. Two people are coming back together and it just is what it is. So those are your messages. I love y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support. Make sure to go um, Follow me on my um, OnlyFans where I will have all signs up at. I do a lot of um, shit over there. Okay, so y'all make sure to go check it out. Go follow me. Catch the, the promotion I have going on until May 19th. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next one.